What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team of Fish Knuckles the YouTube channel. So, over the past weekend, we had a regionals in Brazil at Sao Paulo, and uh, surprise, surprise, Charizard won again. Uh, it actually got first, third, and fourth place. Outside of that, it got 12th, it got 15th, um, 21st, 31st, 38th, 41st. And a bunch of the placements. I mean, it goes down to 118. So 118 players made day two. Is that what happened? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure how this works out. I don't have all the results and everything else. But it is crazy to think that we are now, what? We've got Orlando. We had EUIC, which toured one with, with uh, Pidgeot. Then we had the Philippines, which is what about Charger Pidgeot. Then we had Orlando, which was won by Charizard Pidgeot. Then we had uh, Perth Regionals, which was won by Charizard Pidgeot. And then we had Singapore, which was won by, oh, Giratina. Pidgeot, the Charizard got second. But then we're in Sao Paulo and Charizard Pidgeot won. So it's safe to say that Charizard Pidgeot is the BDIF. Now, I don't think there's any upturn, uh, upcoming tournaments this weekend. Yeah, the next one is not actually not till next weekend. Uh, this weekend is actually a bye weekend, so nobody's playing. But it's crazy that a deck is so dominating, right? It's won pretty much every single regional so far. Uh, but let's look at Pedro uh, Liss, a fantastic player. Um... And we can try, we can try to think of what might be different. Um, it looks pretty much the same to Tord. I think they're playing Heroes Cape over Prime Catcher. That one bit might be one thing, but still playing the Clafa, still playing the B Barrel, still playing the Pidgeot, uh, playing the one Charmeleon instead of the two, but not playing Jirachi. Still not playing Jirachi. Uh, we saw last weekend um, when they won in Orlando. And actually wasn't playing Jirachi, so that's pretty interesting. And actually playing Mist Energy to counter the Giratina builds, playing Devolutions instead. Uh, so that's a pretty interesting build for the for the mirror. That's for the mirror, 100 percent right? So that's pretty nice. Two counter catcher, which is pretty cool. Just one Taros. Um, no Misfortune Sisters and no Pal Pads, no no way to get back. So control could have maybe won that matchup. But in second place, we actually have Nicholas. Playing a Lost Boss deck. Now it's the Lost Box with like Roaring Moon and Hoopa and Riku and Iron Hands. And you know, and you see this, it, you know, they probably had to play against a bunch of Charizard. But Pedro was able to take it down in the finals. Now this, this list is pretty cool. We've seen this kind of multiple times already. I don't know if this is somebody else at 68. It's D okay, Diego uh, and maybe Nicholas or teammates. Not sure. I'm not sure how that works. I'm not from Brazil. I can't tell you who's teammates, who's not teammates, unfortunately. In third place, we have Alex Silva uh, playing their own list. You can kind of see on the list, it tells you the bottom, like, who, whose list it is, and anybody's played it. Uh, but still, this okay. This one's not playing Cleffa, so no Cleffa in this one. Only one Charmeleon. Um, see what else is in here. Play the Devolution. Play the Mist Energy. Um, outside of that, it looks pretty similar. It's pretty much what we've seen, but no Cleffa this time. No Cleffa in this one. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go to fourth so nicholas definitely beat a charizard because there's one in third and fourth place uh so let's go to ricardo's and look at their list um and i think this actually is streamed i think you might be able to find the a twitch stream i'm not sure where it is exactly i had to see if this one was anyway uh so this one looks like um a, a bunch of group of friends play this right you have ricardo william gabriel and ian Ooh, is this all the same group um it's pretty cool uh, if you don't know, Ian was on the channel a long, long time ago. We used to do interviews with people. Ian was one of the people we did interview at one point. Uh, but playing the Cleffa, the 30 HP Cleffa, and uh, no Jirachi still. So it seems like everybody's like not playing Jirachi. They're just not scared of Sableye, which is pretty interesting. We might see something change. Who knows? Uh, playing two Devolutions, playing the Heroes Cape, playing the Abyss Synergy. This looks, this looks pretty similar to... Pedro's list. It might be something a little bit different, but it looks pretty close. It looks pretty, pretty close. Um, in fifth place, we had a Giratina Lost Zone box deck, which, you know, if they put out all the Mist Energies, it is hard for Giratina to take a knockout on these. Uh, they do Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves can take a knockout. 
Then he gets knocked out back. And then he gets the guillotine, right? Uh, is this somebody else's list or is their own list? Oh, it is their own list. Congratulations, Jonathan. Uh, playing Devolution. Once again, pretty cool. Playing a higher count of grass energies for the Iron Leaves. Spirit Tomb, so V Pokemon. A uh, big one is going to be a Rotom, of course. Uh, to kind of counter that. So that's pretty neat. And then we have Giovanni playing um, Guardi. And it looks like it is their own list. They do have somebody else playing within Santiago, I think is what it said. Um, Musgrave Tail, Jifloon, all the kind of fun guys. Fluttermane at the four refinements. Uh, playing a Hero's Cape. Yo! There's a lot of Hero's Cape. There's a lot of Hero's Cape. That's crazy. <clears throat> and I mean, I don't really see um, Lost Vacuum in a lot of these builds. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, we have set place another gear. Oh, this is a gear. T uh, RCS gear team. So let's open this up. Uh, let's open the iron leaves. The two two, the four four with the three lost city. Woo! Get out of here, lost city. Some Pokemon that could be really good. Pretty interesting. Playing the one eerie, which could be kind of cool. Like if you know the situation, you kind of eerie upon a turn two and disrupt him and get rid of the item card stuff like that. Could be really nice, especially when like Charizard. Goes road of V, draw cards. If you're able to eerie them and like discard their rare candies and stuff, that could be a really big deal. Um, I like this build a lot, it looks really cool. I wonder what they lost to overall. Unfortunately, we can't, really can't see stuff anymore since uh, Poker Science uh, doesn't have their website anymore. And then eighth place was Lugia Archops. We do have Lugia Archops in eighth place. The four three with the one Snorlax playing the one Master Ball, playing a ton of energies. Uh, four three Lugia line, four research, three Iona, three boss, one jock, and one Serena. Uh, one one great ball, interesting. Just, just one, just one great ball. Ah, you know, I'm, one great ball. Let's go for it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, how many energies? Sixteen. Ah, good lord, That's a lot of energies. Uh, but I guess you need it, right? Uh, so after that, your top eight. That's your 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 big money is right. And next up is nine through sixteenth. And uh, okay, here's another Arceus gear team. So we have two. Almost in top eight. This one's pretty interesting, pretty similar, right? But it plays a Radiant Gardevoir. Now, Radiant Gardevoir is pretty nice. It makes it where, like, against opponents' decks, right? Their guaranteed is going to knock out your guaranteed. So that's pretty cool. Playing the Chain Scare over the Eerie, so no disruption there. Still playing the three Lost City. And I guess the Lost City is kind of good now. A lot of a lot of decks aren't playing, like, multiple stadium cards. Um, so once it's stuck out there, it's stuck there. And that could, like, be important cards. Like, it's Guardi, you lost on their one attackers. We saw with the Guardi playing one attackers. A lot of the lost on box builds only play one attacker. Outside of the Giratina builds, right? Uh, Charizard, if you get rid of a Pidgeot or a Charizard. Um, you also could just get rid of their Radiance Art, and that could be really nice too. Uh, I guess Ancient Box, you lost on the Pokemon, less damage they do to you. So, uh, you know, Lost City could be really impactful. We kind of see that played in both of these Arceus Giratina builds. I uh, wish I have a Roaring Moon, the Dunsparce, in 10th place. Uh, we haven't seen this yet, but here we go. I'm not sure if this is someone else's build. They're playing the Penny, which is pretty neat. Um, it's in the good stuck the act spot. Oh, let's see. So congratulations. Let's see what else we got. We got a regular, just straight Arceus deck. I keep, sorry, I keep yawning, guys. I'm tired from work. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. A four three Arceus, one Flutter main. Ooh, Roseanne's backup. Interesting. A lot of interesting stuff here for sure. Playing Grabber as well. Whoa, what's going on? Two Eerie. So like a control Arceus style deck. I feel like right with the devolution and stuff. This is a pretty interesting take on this, right? Uh, just like like I said, a control kind of build with two mist energies. So gear changes can knock out your RC and stuff like that. You get Chainer's care back. You get two shots. And pretty much everything's two shotting you. Um, the only thing I'm scared about when this stuff like this is happening is like late game Zard. They definitely have the advantage, and that's the scary thing with this deck, right? Uh, but that guess is why you have devolution. But still, it's kind of scary. I'll be honest with y'all. Um, I'd be scared to play this because Charizard. Charizard's the number one deck right now. Uh, there's Shipow. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, they're playing three Fridgerbacks. My goodness, Bastion, you are my hero. Thank you so much. You are my favorite person today. Uh, we have another Charger Pidgeot, another Shin Pound. Let's take a look and see. Oh, three. Oh my goodness, dude. The times are changing. I love it. Love it. I love it so much. So much. Uh, now, here's the crazy thing is let's look at stats. When you look at stats, there was eight Espathra. 
That's insane. Uh, so here's all the Espathros. We have Victor playing Espathro, right? So, uh, like, it's crazy that it has so many showings and still, like, didn't, like, get its good good placement, right? It's good. It, it did well, right? At 20, 29th, 35th, 40th. I mean, even, like, uh, Vinny got 74th, right? So that's unfortunate. Uh, here's another one. Um, they're all kind of looking similar. I mean, they might be all the same people. No, this is 29th. Nobody else is. Uh, Victor's List. Were there anybody's? Oh, here we go. Look at here. Yeah, you kind of see. Yeah, see, now you, hear, you see it, right? And all these people are probably the same friend group. And, unfortunately, it just didn't, like, didn't draw out of it. Well, Vinny, they play anybody's list. They play their own kind of list. I don't know the difference between them. I haven't played Espathor that much to know the difference. Uh, but it's crazy that it was, like, right here, right? Like, Charizard, Chimpat, Arceus, Luga, Espathra. Like, that's it's, that's pretty... I did not expect that. Uh, like, more placements than Lawsuit Box. We had Future Box. Uh, future here. Uh, highest place was 48th, unfortunately. It, like, did well day two. I mean, it had, like, a couple placements in day two. Then it kind of just didn't do that well afterwards. Uh, but, yeah, there's, you know, standard stuff there. Standard stuff. Nothing too crazy in that build. There might be some crazy builds with, like... Grass energies or something that could be could be something we could see. Um, Lost zone box and we'll we'll take a look and peek at some of these. Let's look at the next place list. Uh, we saw the other one and you could oh this one played Groudon of the other one. Oh my god, I played Shaman. Man, I played a build like this before. And, oh, man, I I was so excited. I did so bad with it. So and that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate though. I did bad with it. Not not them. I did bad with it. So. Uh, there's a Roaring Moon deck. Um, Gustavo over here. Yeah, I probably like this list a lot. There we go. The four Roaring Moon. Let's go. Oh, no baby Roaring Moon? Yo, we'd be like that? Cool. Um, there was Snorlax Control. So there was some control. Um, but uh, it doesn't look like... Yeah, the highest one was 27th, unfortunately. Uh, I'll open that as an image real quick. And you kind of see it's Chi Yu with the Snorlax and Mickey and Mawal. Uh, Mantine. Mantine's a pretty cool card we haven't talked about it before, but I've heard a basic Pokemon for each player's discard to that player's bench. Uh, this is basically get rid of, uh, bring back the other card that just got rotated. Um, so yeah, there, there's that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then Pidgeot Control, which I think might be the better of the decks, but definitely harder to play for sure. Um, 1955 98. Oh man, isn't it? It did well at EIC because of Caterpie, but then after that, we did get 19th place, so we'll take that. Uh, we'll see the next... Man, I I would not be able to tell the difference between like what's in here, what's not in here. I have no idea. I've never played Control. This is, like, playing so many one-ofs, like, uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I couldn't. There's no way I could do that. Um, let's see. We have Arceus. We already took cover some of them. We had this one, this one, this one. And then the Armor is just one of those cards. Look at an Armor is build. Armor is just pretty cool. Um, because, like, you can power up an RCs out of nowhere if they do get knocked out, so that's pretty neat. Gouging Fire is a cool attacker. Delphox is a cool attacker. It's, like, a pretty cool fire deck. If I was playing kind of any fire toolbox, I think the RCs would be the way to go. Um, just seems cool. Uh, Armor GX is in here. Armor Rouge, like, or, there's a couple cool things in here. Uh, you got the Magma Basin. So, like, if an RCs with the fire energy gets knocked out, you get, like, Magma Basin and, like, Switch the energies up to it with the Armor Rouge, because Armor Rouge lets you move your fire energy from your bench Pokemon to your active. Um, so, could be cool, could be cool. Um, and the Ready Heatran is such a good attacker. Does 70 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon, so you can like, slowly just stack damage. Like, when you use Magma Basin, you can put the damage on the Heatran and move it up somewhere. That's pretty neat, that's pretty neat. We like that a lot, because this is one energy. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Like, oh, that's awesome. You're like, interesting. Uh, this one is once per turn, though, unfortunately, so... Who do you, if you Arceus, do you just like swing energies to the Arceus or to like a Delphox or something? But it's cool. It's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, there was a lot that went on. I mean, not, a, not actually, not a lot went on. Actually, not a lot went on. There was a Mias Karata. Let's go. Mias Karata has two placements now. Let's go. Let's look at this list. Whew, let's go. Mias Karata Pidgeot with the B-Barrel. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it looks, does it look different than this other one? Yeah, it does. That's what I thought. Uh, yeah, Mias Karata is even making a place for that. Sick, dude. Sick. 
I know the Diablo is highest, 45th. Dang it. But anyways, Charizard, BDIF, it's the best deck in the format right now. Find it, if you find something that beats it, play for Indy. That's, it's going to be at least 25-30% of the room. Um, if you can't beat it, then get good to the mirror because it's the best deck. Nothing's beating it. So if you can't beat it, join it, right? Just play Charizard. That's my suggestion for next weekend if you're going. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty.